guys, so I'm going to be doing an Elsa inspired eye look with Naked 3 from Urban Decay. Um, I've already prepped with brows, foundation, concealer, all that jazz. Um, and so now I'm going to show you what it looks like to prime my eyes. Um, just kind of rub that all over your eyelids. Um, we're going to be starting with Buzz on the eyelid. And we're just going to pack that on. Um, this is not necessarily supposed to be like a dead on look for Elsa, but when I wear Naked 3, this is my everyday look with it, and people tend to tell me because of my hair and all that jazz that it looks like her. So I just thought this might be useful for some people. And now we're going in with Nooner, and I'm going to be putting that on my crease and also a little bit on the outer third of my eyelid. Um, we're just going to be blending that in as much as we can. And this part is sped up, so it wasn't in focus. Now it's in focus. Um, so now we're going to put dark side more on the outer V area, just so, because sometimes Nooner isn't dark enough on the outer third area for me. And we're going to use Blackheart, which is a beautiful black with um, red and pink glitter suspended in it. And this is going to really darken up the look and define our eyes. blending that all the way into my crease. Um, if you blend it a little higher, it's fine because we're going to go in with a highlight. So yes, we're using that highlight now. It is called Strange and we're going to be putting that on the brow bone and also on the inner corner of our eyes and a little bit up. I guess that's called the halo effect with eyeshadow now. I don't know. I've been doing that with like almost all my eye looks my entire life, but hey. Um, and after that, we are going to redefine Blackheart a little bit just from some darkness we've lost and go over it with Buzz and Nooner just to keep the more pink tones in it. So that's what I'm doing there. Now this is all the eyeliners I'm using. I forgot to put Wonder Pencil on this eye because I actually filmed this and then realized, hey, didn't film the button. I mean, bleh, press the button. So now we're doing a basic winged liner with, um, Urban Decay's Ink for Eyes, which is a fabulous waterproof pen liner. Um, on the other eye, I did like smoke it out a little bit with some pencil liner too, but I forgot to on this one. <laughs> but um, if you don't like winged liner, that's perfectly fine. She seems to have just a very smoky, dramatic sort of thing going on. Now we're lining our waterline with Urban Decay's 24-7 Pencil Zero. And that's how that's looking. We're curling our lashes. It's just a run of the mill lash curler from Five Below. And yeah, it helps if you pull your eyebrow up as usual. And now I'm using Tarte's Gifted Mascara, which I have fallen in love with as of late. Um, I just think it's one of the most wonderful mascaras. I run it through with a bit of a wiggle and then um, blink, if that makes sense, then put on the lower lashes. Yes, a little bit got in my eye, but I removed it with Q-tip. And yeah, someone accused me of wearing falsies while using that the other day, so that was cool. This is our bronzer, blush, and highlight. Um, I am using Benefits Hula, first of all, as bronzer, because I want this to look more like a natural contour and less of a bronzy thing, because she is in a wintry climate, so she's not going to have like a natural tan thing going on but she does have very defined angles in her face. And yeah, um, fast forwarding through the stupid thing I do where I pull my mouth to the side while I contour, I, get, I learned that from Nicole Guerrero. I like it much better than the fishy face technique. So we're just doing the jawline, the cheekbones, um, the temples, and down the sides of my nose. going in with Tarte's Amused Blush. Um, lots of Disney princesses, this movie especially, have like a frostbitten look to their cheeks, um, if that makes sense, where they're very pink and bright and on the apples. So this is a very like nice hot pink blush, which will definitely define it. Um, now that lipstick clip is out of order, sorry, but I went in with the Wet n Wild Fergie Shimmer Palette. Um, it's something to do with sham Rose Champagne Glow, I believe it's called. Rose, I don't know. Um, and we're just highlighting all the places that need to be highlighted. And we're going to use the NYX Round Case Lipstick in Castle, which is a nice light plum color, which is the most similar thing I had to what she was wearing. And yeah, thank you.
Shinjuku, you guys. I love you so much. Please check out my previous video, The Concert Get Ready With Me, and like, comment, and subscribe so I know what to give you guys. Bye!